Finding Meaning in Chaos. Happy Friday, everyone. Have things seemed a bit chaotic lately? Or have your stress levels been turned up to 11? Perhaps that's not your situation presently, but it certainly was at some point and it will be again. Chaos can be brutal. You get battered about, you get bruised and a bit disoriented in the process. Maybe you made a few poor decisions during such times. I think we all have. I certainly did. Just about four years ago, I was kayaking down the Sacramento River in my hometown and I inadvertently found myself being pulled into a nasty set of rapids, rapids my friend had warned me to avoid. And as the river bobbed my vessel about like a toy, I tried to paddle to gain some control. Problem was, the water level was down and my paddle hit the bottom and I nearly capsized my boat. But in an instant, I knew the answer. Go with the flow. Stop fighting it. Instead, I raised my paddle above my head and I spun about here and there and I safely exited the rapids. Now, fighting that which I had no control over was actually doing more harm than good. Lesson learned. Now, besides river rapids, there are several ways we can find meaning amid chaos, and here are just a few, and perhaps you can add to this list. Number one, you learn the value of preparation and the pain of being ill-equipped. Two, you develop a new skill set or dust off an old one that's been idle for some time. Three, you learn that you're capable of much more than you think. Four, you broaden your perspective. Adversity can help us think more creatively to solve problems and possibly connect us with those who challenge our entrenched ways of doing things. Five, you learn that your emotions come from within you, not from your outside circumstances. Six, you discover there's life after failure. You will fail, not constantly, but at times, and with that failure is gonna come the realization that life goes on, despite whatever missteps you have made. And number seven, you strengthen the ability to discern that which you can influence and control and that which you cannot. Hopefully you've enjoyed the seven ways that we can find some meaning and benefit in chaos. Add to this list in the comment section below and don't forget you can subscribe to our channel on YouTube and also please share this video with others. Thanks again, have a fantastic weekend and when you're in the midst of the chaos, just stop for a moment and say, how can I benefit from this situation I don't like? Because none of us really like it, but there are many things that we can take out of it that bring value. Have a great weekend.